Hey you guys, so I'm gonna be showing you guys what we pack for our toddler. It is her first flight. We are going to DC slash, it's like really the DMV area cause we'll be like, my mom lives in Virginia, but she works in DC and then we'll be like in the DMV area. So I'm gonna show you guys what we are packing for her um, for flight and we get there. So first thing is gonna be tech to keep her entertained. So we have her charger. This is her tablet. This is the Amazon Fire 10, I believe. Um, I absolutely just love her tablet. It has Netflix, um, Disney Plus, and then it has like ABCs, numbers, shapes, and coloring. Um, but this is gonna keep her, and it has like movies downloaded, so if we're not on Wi-Fi, she can still watch it. I also don't have it, but I will post a picture right here. Um, they are like some wireless headphones, so you charge them, and then she can just listen through her headphones, and they Bluetooth to her tablet. We use it in the car all the time. And then this is the carrying case for it. So I love it. I actually am gonna get her a different, like, one. It's a hot pink one, um, because I just don't really like the... I just think this looks super, super kiddish. I just want something kind of clean cut. But this is really cute and like she can carry it. We carry it so it's just really easy. And then it has a pocket here in the front. So her tablet um, charger goes in there so you don't lose anything. Next, we are going to take an extra wet bag. So in case you guys saw in her diaper bag video, which I will link down below. Um, she has one already, but we're going to take an extra one just in case something happens with that. Next, we have some shoes. So my mom got these for her like two weeks ago and she mailed them to us. But um, these are what they look like. You guys comment down below if you like them. I don't like them. I think they look a little like boyish. Um, and I just don't like like the thick insole. I'm gonna post a picture of the one she has. And she's had like, as her feet grows, we just order the same pair. Um, I just like the slender looking one. So we're gonna take these. Um, cause she got them from the outlet up there and then we're going to exchange them or just return them. Next, we are going to take a pack of her water wipes. If we need more, we would just go to Target or Walmart up there. Um, for diapers, we're not going to take any. We're just going to go to the store when we get there and get a pack or two of diapers. Next, we're going to take a book. So every night, um, let me turn my phone and vibrate in case somebody calls um, every night we read a book or a story to her. We have quite a bit of these. Like we have um, one, two, three, four, five, nine of these and then this is 10 I think included. But this is great for travel I think just because it has multiple stories. So we'll be gone from Monday to Friday. Um, so that way she has a story for every night instead of carrying or transporting like five Dr. Seuss books. You just have a bunch in one. Next for food. I'm gonna have to take you guys with me. So we're gonna take two like bowls slash plates. We're gonna take two forks and two spoons. We're gonna take um, two cups, so one with a lid. This has like a little spout. It can also be an open lid um, cup. Let me, down let me know down below if you want me the link to these or whatever and I'll send it to you or you can ask me at my social medias. Um, but we're gonna take two cups. We're going to take two bowls, and that is because normally when we're on vacation, we do eat out quite a bit. And so, as I said before, we just kind of are very picky. Um, we just like to have her stuff, so it just reduces germs. And then we also have a, like, straw sippy cup. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to take you guys with me. We are in the other baby's room, our un other unborn child, the Lord's will. Okay, you guys, so next we are gonna talk about hygiene. So this is her hygiene bag. Got this from Target and I like it. I have the exact same one. I think so does Olivia, um, but it just has like a big pocket here, one here, and then another one down here. So this is hers. So we have the smaller size of her sunscreen in her diaper bag. So we're gonna just use the one from her diaper bag, but I just wanna show you guys sunscreen we'll be taking. Of course, her soap, so she gets a bath every night. This is not being, this is going her check look or in our check luggage. So, of course, it's uh, over the six ounces, so it's going to be checked. We have her nail clipper, of course, toothbrush, toothpaste. We have Q tips, Vaseline, 
her lip balm. I'm actually gonna take this out though because she already has Vaseline, so it's no need for her lip chat. She has her Tubby Todd all over ointment, so I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but this was like a saving grace for her skin. When she was little, she had baby acne, and I saw, I heavily researched and saw this, and her skin has just been so smooth ever since. So we like live and breathe this. If your baby has baby acne or you know somebody that's struggling with skin, eczema, this is the, like to me, the holy grail. This is a contactless um, thermometer. And then for hair, so she has rubber bands. She has a mister. Let me see if you guys can see it. Boom, this is a really good one. It's like a strong mister. I got from the beauty supply store for like a dollar or so. You have a Denman, or it's like an off-brand Denman brush. So she has some really curly hair, so these like help her curls pop. Of course, a little edge brush. We have her regular brush, another tiny brush. This one actually I use more because I can just kind of like get in there. I think sometimes this irritates her for some reason. And then we have her Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner, if you guys can see that. We have the Just For Me Natural Hair Milk. So I normally will spray this in and then I'll detangle her hair with her off-brand Demon brush. And then once I style it, whatever curls I've left, this goes on it to just kind of make her curls like stay and just pop. And then she has the um, olive oil for girls, the edge gel, and this just works so good. She does have a just for me one, but this one holds a lot more. Like if you wanna look all hold on the hair, this one is it. Where the other one is kind of like, mm. this one is like, mm, girl. So I like this one. Next, of course for bath time, we have two rags. We have two towels and then this is like her poop towel so if we think she's had a blowout or something like that we have like three of these and we put them underneath her while we change her and then we immediately wash these next we are gonna go to clothing so I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you guys what I have so I normally like clothing day by day so this starts her clothing and as you can see we have the different color bows for each day and then also you have the socks for each day as well so this is for the night before we are actually going to Atlanta to stay with my cousin so she'll already be bathed and stuff so she'll just change into her night clothes but this is what she's wearing to the airport and then when she gets when we get there Monday night we're gonna change her and put her in this for dinner time and then she has a nighttime PJ's outfit so every time I pack, and this even for Olivia and I, um, normally I pack, so I do the outfit, any accessories, undergarments, and then I also do a nighttime outfit. So that is how you guys will see this. So again, here, bows, socks, you got the jeans with it, and then the nighttime outfit, the same for these. Olivia and her will be matching. And Olivia has the exact same uh, matching shirt for this one. And then I have the matching sweater. So we're going to each do a matching day and take pictures in it. She has, um, you saw this in her diaper bag video, her jacket. She has these like fuzzy socks. She loves these so much. Um, she has these little gloves. You guys can see it like that. They're so cute. Got these from Amazon. She has two hats. She hates stuff on her head, but we're gonna bring them just in case. She has these shoes, some Crocs, because they they match this outfit and also this outfit. She has her white forces, which match almost all of her outfits if they wanted to. And then um, we're also gonna bring her black Crocs because that is what she's gonna be wearing on the road when we travel to Atlanta and to, you guys, my eyes are so red. Mine, I just like will naturally do that. It's the weirdest freaking thing ever. Um, I don't know why it doesn't, I just will do it out of nowhere. I'll put eye drops in, it'll go away, and then it comes back, it's the weirdest thing. Um, so that's what everything we're packing for her. It'll be split up between Olivia and I's bag just because I don't think she needs her own suitcase. She does have her own suitcase. It's so cute. It's Minnie Mouse. But we're only being gone for five days. So I don't think we need to pay $60 both ways for just her stuff. 
lastly you guys so because it's her first time flying we're not driving um to get to the airport for my mom we have to have her car seat and her stroller so i just didn't want to check them now from what delta has told us you can check the car seat and the stroller at the gate or curbside or at the counter we are going to check both of them at the gate because i just feel like if i do it at curbside of the counter then the luggage people are just going to throw her stuff around so i just need to make sure it is at the gate and it travels with us as long as possible i'm one of those parents like if her car seat or stroller gets damaged i feel like it's ineffective and then i have to buy a new one and these convertible car seats are like 200 and up so what we did i looked on amazon and i'll link it down below we got this huge let me find the front okay so it is as you guys can see a stroller gate check oh it actually has nala's name we were looking for this earlier to write her name so it fits we tried her stroller in it earlier it fits so good and it has so much room i guess for like stroller accessories or whatever um which i think we probably will put in there but um that is what we're gonna use and i'm really excited it's supposed to be like all this stuff prove keep it safe from germs and all that good stuff and it has like handles on the side so they don't have to like toss it you know they just pick it up by the handle so i'm excited about that and then lastly we got a same well not same but like really similar concept for her car seat um that's what i'm most worried about because you know car accidents are real and i just don't want it to be an issue so i found this so olivia does not have to like carry it or hold it on her back because her you know those car seats are heavy so this has wheels on it it is from chico this is what it looks like so it is a huge as you guys can see this chico I'll show you guys boom and so it opens like all the way up boom and it really it, it fit her car seat just great and it also has backpack straps if we wanted to put it on our back and it hooks back here so this could be a backpack as well but again it has wheels four wheels on the bottom and our luggage is um what do you call that like 360 spin or whatever i just don't i've gotten a little bit um privilege trying of privilege is the word to spoil with luggage i don't like to like pull it or pull it forward and then do it that way because like i'm doing something so i like the 360 luggage i think it just makes everything more convenient and so this is 360 so i'm excited about that so her diaper bag will also be coming with us um i did not take anything out of her diaper bag everything is going to stay so she has bibs in there i'm trying to think if that's it um i don't have anything else so if you guys have any tips on traveling with a toddler or a newborn let me know i am so grateful that i am not breastfeeding or she's not on formula um the medicines that are in her diaper bag they're under the six ounces so they shouldn't be an issue um i will be taking my laptop because i am still in school and i also have some stuff for work so i just always kind of have to be mobile I'm kind of in that phase with entrepreneurship where i just kind of always got to be kind of on still but i know how to turn it off and enjoy my family as well nala will also be carrying uh sharing with me a carry-on um luggage we are also taking i don't have it in here with me but my mom she purchased from nala's school they made some pottery and so she ordered a mug with nala's handprint her name in the year so we are also taking that so if you have any tips let me know down below i'm worried about like her ears popping or the plane take off so let me know down below but i will vlog as much as i can the entire trip so thank you so much for watching again bye be blessed